welcome to Dressmaking Amore. In this video, I'll show you how to sew the dreamiest half-zip sweater. The oversized collar looks beautiful opened up, but can also be zipped up to create a comfy turtleneck look. This cozy top has a relaxed fit with a cropped hem, making it the perfect choice for any outfit. You'll find the sewing pattern linked below in the description of this video. Here are the materials we'll need. Around 1.5 meters of medium weight knit fabric, of course this depends on your size, 13 inch zipper, 2 meters of elastic, around 4 centimeters wide, 1.5 meters of twill tape, 1 to 2 centimeters wide, 25 centimeters of fusible interfacing, around 2 centimeters wide. We'll also need a zipper sewing machine foot, a machine needle for knit fabric, and our essentials, the matching thread, glass head pins, scissors, and of course, our Zia sweater pattern. There's more detailed information about this in the pattern booklet. For my fluffy cloud of a sweater, I'm going to be using the soft white Sherpa. The fabric that I recommend is a medium weight, moderate stretch fabric. This would be something like a sweatshirt fleece, pont in it, or French terry. It's really soft and fluffy, which is perfect for this sweatshirt, and it has a good stretch, which will make it more easier and forgiving to work with. Before we get started, please click that like button down below and subscribe for more sewing videos. Let's begin! Here are our pattern details, the sleeve, the front, the back, and the collar. Apply interfacing to the center front, marking the placement of the zipper. The frame width is around 1 cm. Place the seam at the contour of the frame. Then cut 10 to 15 centimeters right through the middle of the frame. Place the front and back right sides together, pin and sew. And here, serge the shoulder seam. Press the shoulder seams and cool them down with a tailor's clapper. I have a link to one that I recommend in the description below. Pin the collar to the neckline, matching the center marks and the shoulder seams with the marks on the collar. And so. Now right here, I did search this seam later in the process, but it's much easier to do it now. Pre-shrink the twill tape by applying heat to it. Open up the zipper and place the zipper tape along the neckline opening. The top edge of the zipper should match the center of the collar and the last pin in the corner of your frame. We have not yet fully cut the neckline opening here. Sew in the middle of the tape. Stop right below the zipper teeth so that they won't be in the way of your sewing. Turn to the wrong side and cut the rest of the neckline opening in a straight line, stopping 1 to 1.5 one cm before the frame. Cut to the corners of the frame at an angle, stopping 1 mm before the very tip of the corner. Close the zipper and on the other side of the zipper tape, mark the neckline seam as well as the end of the previous seam. Pin the zipper tape to the neckline opening, matching all of the marks. Sew the other side of the zipper tape and use the frame seam as your guide. You can use a one-sided machine zipper foot here. At the end of the zipper, pull out a little bit of that triangle and secure it, being careful with the zipper teeth, sewing slowly. You can even do this by hand so that you won't break any of your machine needles. Thank you. 
Sew the twill tape to your zipper tape 6 cm from the top edge of the zipper, making sure not to stretch or pull the tape. The tape is a little longer than the zipper, so just turn it over and sew to secure. In the same way, sew the tape to the other side, this time starting from the bottom. Search the outer edge of the collar so as to make the Sherpa fabric lay flat and be easier to work with. As you can see, my pins are facing away from the edge so that they won't get in the way of the machine, but stay in place so that they can mark the notches that I will serge away but will need later. Place your twill tape on the right side over the searched edge of the collar and sew 2 millimeters from the edge. Turn your collar to the right side and secure the tape at the corner of the zipper. Close your zipper and make a mark on the other side of the end of the collar so it's symmetrical with the other side. Unzip and fold the collar over to the mark right sides together. Pin and sew. Turn the collar to the right side and sew the tape at the corner of the zipper. And here's where I decided to serge that neckline to make it less bulky. Pin the collar edge to the neckline seam, covering it. First, pin at the center back and then at the shoulder mark, and then right in between these points. On the very edge of the twill tape, sew the collar to the neckline. And now, press the zipper and the collar. Pin the sleeves into the open armhole, matching up all of the marks, pin the edges, and pin in between. Sew the sleeves into the armhole and serge. and then press the armhole seam towards the sleeve. Pin the side seams of the sleeve and the bodice, and sew. Press the side seams to make them flat and get rid of any waviness. Then press towards the back. Sew your elastic into a circle. Then divide your elastic into quarters and mark. Place your elastic inside the sweatshirt and pin the elastic at the hem, matching up with the side seam and all of our marks. Sew the elastic to the hem, only stretching the elastic while sewing. I'm showing you how I'm doing it here on the cuff.
Place the seam on the other side of the elastic to prevent the elastic from folding inside. Stretch the elastic here too while sewing. Fold the hem with the elastic inside and pin at the side seam and the centers. Then sew in the middle of the serge seam, stretching the elastic here as well. Now for the cuffs, create your sleeve cuffs in the same way that we did the hem. Or if this way is a little hard on your machine, you can always make an elastic casing and then insert your elastic. Give your sweater a finishing press, and we are done with our comfy and cozy half zip Zia sweater. Thank you so much for watching. I really do hope that this inspires you to sew this beautiful sweatshirt for yourself, and I know you will love it. You'll find the sewing pattern to this sweater linked below in the description of this video. Happy sewing!